To capture a specific moment in time, a photographer may shoot multiple pictures using continuous shooting. Stacks make the process of editing a series of images easy. In his stack, the photographer reviews the images and picks the best image of the group, which is called a stack pick. Now take a look in the browser window. You'll notice that the first sequence of images, the Tibetan girl in yellow, are all very similar. And what I want to do here is stack these images. There are two different ways of stacking. You can auto stack and you can manually stack. Right now I'm going to show you how to auto stack. So drag your cursor over the first image and click. Go to the menu bar and go to stacks and go to auto stack. An auto stack HUD appears. When you move the slider, aperture groups images together according to the specified time interval. When you release the mouse at 15 seconds, all images shot within 15 seconds of each other will be grouped into a separate stack. Now close the HUD by pressing the X, and now you auto stacked. Now I'm going to show you how to manually stack images. Bring your cursor up to the menu bar and go to Stacks, and go to Unstack. Now deselect the images by clicking in the gray area. Now click and hold in the gray area and this creates a box. And just drag that box around the first six images. And then let go. Now go up to your menu bar and go to Stacks and Stack. In the upper left hand corner of the stack you'll notice the number 6. This means that there are 6 images in the stack. When you click on it, it closes the stack. When the stack is closed, the image that you see is the stack pick. Let's open the stack by clicking on the number 6. And I'm going to show you how to change your stack pick and pre-mote and demote images within a stack. Click on an image and drag it. You'll notice a green line appear. When you let go of this image, it moves it in the stack. Since you're moving it more towards the end of the stack, you're actually demoting it. Press Command and the bracket keys on your keyboard. You'll notice that this moves the image in the stack. By bringing it more towards the front of the stack, I'm promoting this image. You can also promote and demote images in full screen mode, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Just press F on your keyboard. Now that brings you into full screen mode. I'm just going to drag my cursor to the left towards the film strip, and click on my viewer button, and click on stack. You'll see that the first image on the left has a yellow border around it, indicating that this is your current stack pick. The image to the right has a white border around it, and up at the top it says 2 of 6. This is your second image out of 6 in the stack. To move through images in the stack, you can bring your cursor over to your film strip and click on the right or the left arrow. This will take you to your next picture in the stack. Now I'm on image 3, and what I want to do is promote this to being image 2 of the stack. In order to do that, I'm just going to bring my cursor up to the toolbar, to the Promote button. If you hold your cursor over the button, it'll show you the shortcut. Now I'm just going to click on it, and notice the film strip when I click on this. And there you have it, so now you just promoted the image. By pressing the button to the right, I demote the image. Now that we've promoted and demoted the image, in full screen mode, just press F on your keyboard to exit. Now I want to change image 3 to being my stack pick. So what I'm going to do is just bring my cursor up to the pick button in the toolbar and click. Now that's my stack pick. If you click on the 6 in the upper left hand corner, it'll close the stack. And you'll notice that that's the first image that appears, which means that it's the current stack pick.